Hi guys and welcome back to Fallout 76. Now today I'm going to show you how to get the Nuka Quantum Power Armor skin for your X01 Power Armor. It's something I just got around to doing recently myself so I figured let's throw up a video and have a look at it. This is not something I discovered, this is something I simply came across on Reddit and so I figured I'd share. And here it is in all its glory. This is the X01 Power Armor and this is the Nuka Quantum skin. This is the skin you will unlock when you follow all the steps in this video. And again, a disclaimer, this is not my discovery. I've simply come across it on Reddit and thought, wow, I don't see that many of these around at all. It's why I prefer it actually, because you don't see too many people in it. And seeing as how it's not that well known, I figured I'd let you guys at least know how to get it and where it is in case you so want it. So let's get into it. So to begin our adventure, we first head here. Can you see where? This is the Nuka-Cola plant. So you gotta head up to the Nuka-Cola plant, which is located right here for those who do not know. Quite the location. Very, very entertaining if you've not been in there before, but if you had, no worries. Head to the main entrance, and we're just gonna pop inside. Once you're inside, there may be a few things to drop, a few scorched here and there, but not to worry. You want to head until you see this globe, this little globe here in the center of the room. And to its left, you have a locked door. It's the bathroom, but it's a lock pick skill zero. So you can pop that right down. Well, maybe on your second attempt. Oh, maybe on your third. I'm a little embarrassed it took me three attempts at a, a skill lock zero. But anyway, once inside, there is a bathroom stall, a toilet stall just there. So you got to pop that open. And then you gotta get inside and you gotta close it. And right behind it, we have paired key card one. So this is key card one of two that we're going to need. So it's step number one out of the way and with key card number one in our possession, we now move on to step number two. Step number two takes us to a very interesting place called Tanagra. Now, where is Tanagra? It's all the way across on the other side of the map. So it would be north of the Valley Galleria. It would be east of the Brothers Cabin or Har Harper's Ferry, well-known location, just east of that. And what makes this place interesting is it's a hell of a climb up. If you know your way up, then skip forward on the video. If not, I'll kind of take you up as I go come up around here jump over this down to the bathtub up this pipe be very careful and although you might be tempted to walk onto this jump I've walked on it several times and fallen I find the only way over there is to jump then you continue to walk your way up and follow these ledges Just slowly, slowly. I'm trying to jump it, but we can actually walk around. I want to take the path that you would if you didn't have the mutation for jumping. There's a few crickets in here. Their level will vary depending on your own. So clear all those out and push on through the cave. If there's not much to this cave, then you're going to be out in the sunlight, breathing fresh air in no time at all. Another cricket I need to dispatch here really quickly. Done and dealt with. Ooh, you know what? I'll take a level. I will take a level. There's some perk cards I still don't have at this level. And I've only just now thought of turning on my lights. All right. So I'm just going to grab my bearing. So we're going to go over here. We don't need to jump. We can just follow this walkway. And that gets us to this funnily, funnily um, sitting house makes directions seem all sorts of weird because of, of the angle in which it's sitting. So have a look around at your own leisure. And then we're going to push on. I want to go down here by this, I guess, wheelbarrow and the tire and the bags of fertilizer. Stuff on the table there if you want it. I meant to take the 0.45s and I didn't. In here. And just come here to the left. 
you can see down but you can also see there's a potential path up here so let's climb to this higher path and there's this house here at the top now where i'm aiming do you see that flag that's where i found mine so either the flag will spawn and the key card will be underneath it or the flag won't be there and it will just be the key card now if you have the marsupial mutation you'll have quite the easy time jumping over or if you miss it like i did you can just jump up or if you have a, a jetpack that'd be helpful as well otherwise you're just going to have to jump across the old-fashioned way and maybe take a few attempts to get there but you will get there and you get yourself key card number two for step number three we need to make our way to crashed plane it's a nice uh, area to visit Crash plane just up here, very, very close. Now, if you're facing the plane head on towards this cockpit, there's like two of these bushes type thing with the vines coming down. Um, I got confused. I thought it was behind the first one, but it's not. It's a briefcase we're looking for, and it's behind the second one. So again, to orientate, it's these vines coming down when you're facing it head on. And around the back, we have a briefcase. And inside the briefcase, we have the Nuka-Cola marketing access code. So grab that and we move on to the next step, the next location in our quest for the skin. This time it brings us somewhere nice to Ingram Mansion. It's nice that we get to visit somewhere like a mansion. The mansion is just up over here. So we're kind of heading back towards the center of the map now. And when you're here, ignore the mansion completely and head off to the left, jump the wall and come around the back. There's some busted windows slash doors here and inside there's a computer console. So we're gonna access that really quickly. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna generate a one-time key code. I highly recommend you write this down. When it comes to the step where we need to enter this key code, if you enter it incorrectly, the key code expires, which means you need to make your way back here again to get another one. So write it down and go forth but do make sure you have it noted down mine's 018426 gonna take a note of that note of that myself all right next up the next step on our epic quest brings us to overlook cabin now this is where it's all going down this is where it's all happening overlook cabin by that lake there it's just, I guess, east of White Springs. There might be some scorched you'll need to take care of, but they're, even for me, they were very low level. So it's a very low level area. So kind of get inside and drop them. And then just follow as I go. So I'm going to come through here, go under the stairs, past the pool table, and hang a right and a right again. Then we head down to the bottom of the stairs. And there's a little room in here, and to its room in here, we'll take the map. I'm always collecting these. I don't know what ones I have and what I don't. At the end of the room, we have key card slot two and key card slot one. So this is where you're going to use your key card. So I've used the key card, and the key card has been removed from my inventory. That's very important to note. So is the second key card. And that opens up a secret passage here. And this is where I'm going to enter that code that I wrote down that one-time use code. If I get it wrong, I've got to go back and get another one. Also note that I don't have the cards anymore, so we'll have to get the cards again as well. So very, very important. We have that code down correctly. Okay, so that opens another secret door. So I'm going to get out of this secret door and it really wants to close behind me. That's okay. And here's the other secret door and this has a key. See that? It's the TNT Dome Key 7. If this doesn't appear for you, it means someone on your server took it, which means you need to quit the game, load back into a new server, repeat all the previous steps to get here again, and, and keep doing that until the key is there, pretty much. Now, once you have that key, you have that key forever. That key is not going to be removed from your inventory. So we head to Black Mountain. Now, if you go slightly north of it to exactly where I am, I'm standing right outside the Dome 7 entrance. Now I am feeling a bit dehydrated, so I'm gonna have myself a refreshing beverage or three. 
and we're going to head over to dome 7. I have the key which pops the door and inside I'm going to find the plans just over here on the left. Now, hang on, there they are, the X01 Power Armor Nuka Cola Quantum Paint. If it's not there, just quit game, quit completely, come into a new server, you still have the key so you can open up the dome. You don't need to repeat the previous steps once you have the key. Very important to know. So, you'll have a plan in your inventory. Learn the plan. So, here's my X01 Power Armor. This is my preferred paint, the Camel. I've just been in love with it. It's one of the earlier paints that was available in the Atom Store. But I fell in love with it. It's, I just think it looks amazing. So many people have moved on since with that paint. You don't see it around as much anymore. I like it. So, we're going to go to, one, to a um, power armor crafting thingy bop. And if you go to paints, you see we have the Nuka Quantum, which takes oil, plastic, and steel, and not too much of either. Now, I got a little confused there because I seen the Bone Raider paint, and I did not know that that could be applied to the X01. I have that on my excavator armor, and I absolutely love it. Link in the description if you want to have a look at it yourself. Let's just get the rest of this on. So that's the face place. There we go with the left leg. Quite happy I had the necessary resources. I was afraid it might cost a little bit. Getting there now ever so slowly. Looks like one more piece to do. This will be the, the chest piece and jetpack. And there we go. There she is. That's her all done up in her Nuka Quantum Power Armor paint thing. Not my favorite by any means. I do prefer the camo, but I like the rarity of this that is still relatively new in the game. And not everyone is even aware of it, let alone following these steps just yet. There was an influx of people doing it, but that seems to have died down. And now you have a, a great chance of seeing it. And just in case you haven't already discovered it, there is another Nuka Cola paint as well. I'll leave a link in the top right hand side of the screen if you want to get your hands on that. Hopefully you found the video some bit useful. If you liked the video, please do hit that like button and like the video. It's a small act to you, but means the world to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.